So just another quick video about Virtual DJ 2021 and the step separation feature and how you can map chasing the step separation feature and the EQ modes. And also a little bit about the waveforms in the end. So what's that really? Well, of course you can change the EQ modes in the drop down here, or you can actually click the label here. So what am I trying to do then? Well, you might want to be able to do that on the keyboard key or directly from your controller. So what's the script for that? Well, for the EQ toggle, as I call it, it's really simple. It's actually just EQ mode plus one. So that goes between regular frequency and the last one you selected. So if the last one was uh, easy, uh, easy remix, then it switches between easy remix and the regular frequency back and forth. So that's actually the same that what happens when you click the label here. The last one used and regular frequency mode. So yeah, same. Then you might instead want to switch between all four modes, like in the drop down. You can also do that. Do that by going directly to the setting and simply saying setting EQ mode plus one. Then it goes through all four of them. So if we go back to the regular one, frequency and the easy remix one and the modern EQ and the five st uh, knob stem separation. So that's a way to switch between all of them. But of course, uh, the fourth one, the one five knob stem separation, doesn't really work if you don't have a controller attached because of uh, the gain knob and the filter knob, which will work as two of them, two of the five uh, on the controller, doesn't work like that in, in the skin. It's still the gain and the filter. So if you want to map it so that you only switch between the, the three top ones, the ones that can be used without a, a controller really, then you can map that too. And you do that again by going directly to the settings. So setting EQ mode frequency, then change it to remix. If it's already remixed, then change it to, to uh, modern EQ. And if not, then go back to frequency. So that switches between the three of them. That's not the five knob stem separation like this. Then of course, whenever you load a track, like the one I've done here, you're putting some, some quite heavy load on your laptop especially if you don't have a GPU like uh, that's discussed before. So uh, we can also disable the entire math engine if we don't want to use stems for a while. And can you also do that while DJing? Well, actually you can. So I map that to the last one up here. So setting math engine plus one toggles between not having a math engine on, uh, in effect, taking out all the stems features and turning it back on. So. Uh, when I do that on a track that's already been uh, computed, like this one, you can see that works fine. So now I have stem separations. Just pick one where it's easy to hear. So stem separations now. Yes, it's true. But I rest this love. But if I load the track without the math toggle on. You can see it's yellow, so I don't have it. So if I didn't try to play it, yes, it's true, but for you. it doesn't do anything. But they actually made it really clever. So if I toggle it back on, it immediately starts calculating the loaded track if it doesn't have it. Like that. So now we can use it again, even though we haven't reloaded the track. But of course, you have to be aware. So if you're in the middle of playing a track and say, oh, I want the stem separation and you turn off the math engine, then it might not be wherever you want to be. So it might not be available at the place in the track where you are currently at. So uh, be a little bit uh, careful with using the math chuckle. Um, and then finally, in the end, what about uh, these uh, these waveforms, I kind of like some other waveforms. Will that still work? Well, actually it will. So if I uh, I go up here and pick another one, 
So I, I just want the very old school beats up here. Yes, it's true. Then you can still use the stem separations. You just can't visually see what's happening up here. So that still works, even when you select another waveform. So what about the track waveform down here? Well, that works too. You can set that in the settings. Over here a bit. So that's this one. Say, so, well, I don't want an outro. I just want colors like that. And it'll still work. And it actually also still shows you what's happening because if you unload this track again and reload it, you can see it loads with other colors. So right now it's yellow, like in the old days. And then you can see it actually still calculating, even though it's not using the, the stems visualization on this one. So you still get the information up down here with this setting, although you don't get it up here with this setting. So that's a little bit about mapping the stems and the EQ modes. So you can do it on your controller or keyboard and working with different waveforms uh, while still using the stems feature.